Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's your boy, Chain Wayne. Welcome to the blog. Y'all already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos. All right. Now, I wanted to wait a day to drop this video to do a follow-up of the video that I talked about this whole podcast interview thing that was that was taking place um, when they was dropping the clips. Wack 100, Hassan Campbell, DJ Academics, and 6 9 Now, the reason, I don't know if y'all watched it, but the reason why I said I was going to wait a day, because I wanted to see the energy off of the two people I know that was going to troll each other, was going to go back and forth on the internet. Wack 100 and Hassan Campbell. I knew these two guys was going to have some type of stage B differences, whatever you want to call it, because of their energy and what's taking place. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's 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 break this down and make this make sense. Um, and I think Hassan Campbell said something to this, but I'm not stealing his 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 whole thing, but this is facts. You got six nine right here, right? We know six nine dropping music, album coming out, trolling on the internet, right? So he's right here. You got his alleged manager. You know, working with them, doing this and that, networking, marketing, whatever they want to be, white 100. Then you got DJ Academics. That's the, the poster boy of doing the podcast, right? Then you got Hassan Campbell. He's one of the, the biggest YouTubers, even though I don't really watch him. You know what I'm saying? That's just for my own reasons. He's one of the, the big YouTubers. So all four of these guys combined, Put them together in the room and watch what's going to happen. DJ Academics, like I said, was going to be the referee. He wasn't going to be able to control the room. 6 9 is going to be the hothead that want to keep justifying the same thing that he's been saying since he got out of jail about it's okay to be a rat and I'm going to stand on the whoop de whoop de whoop Ain't nobody going to do nothing. I'm still tough. Bam. Whack 100 or OG Hassan, a YouTuber. Now, these two, these two old heads, <laughs> let's get into it. Whatever the case may be, you don't think they got dirt on each other? These guys, they sit back and they have conversations and they tell each other certain things. That's why I knew that Wack 100 was going to bring up the whole African band body thing. You get what I'm saying? He was trolling on them, but Wack didn't have that energy like he was trying to be like this gangster or whatever. I watched it. You get what I'm saying? Hassan came was right. You didn't have that energy. I'm, I'm, I'm walking out in the interview thinking everything was cool, hanky dory. But it's a thing. It wasn't. Wonder why? In my opinion, I feel like all this is staged to help promote Six Nine album. If you got, if you got Wack One Hundred, right? You got his, you got his fans liking Six Nine. Six Nine got his fans liking Six Nine. Rock with me. And of course, Six Nine fans like Six Nine. Now, Hassan Campbell then went at Six Nine so many times, disrespecting them, said how he was this and how he was that. But if he get if he gravitate more fans, what's that for him? More album sales. You get what I'm saying? So in all of a sense, they all ping ponging off each other to help Six Nine. Oh, Hassan Campbell got a bag off of that interview. Six Nine got a bag off of that interview. Right, Wanda got a bag off that interview, and Act got a bag off the interview. This is going to be one of the most controversial things that's going on right now in the media outlet. You get what I'm saying? Rock with me. So. It's not going to end. They're going to keep pulling up stuff on Clubhouse. Now was Wack 100 um, said something about Nipsey. Hassan Campbell got the audio footage. Whatever the case may be. And he's not denying what he said about Nipsey. But now he's trying to flip the narrative. Like, well, Hassan Campbell just let me know that he just records stuff. Bro, you shouldn't even, How does he even know that anyway? But this is my thing, though. All these guys is going to do is just keep going back and forth with each other on the internet. And it's going to boost everybody career academics Hassan Campbell Wack 100 and 6 9 because it's controversial like this is the thing us as individuals we like drama if it bleed it leads and this is bleeding very bad right now you get what I'm saying soon as I soon as I got on YouTube all I see is Wack 100 Hassan Campbell Wack 100 versus Hassan Campbell something something say this on on, on Clubhouse, this person got this audio footage. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a nice little battle going back and forth for the hype to help 6 9 I'm trying to tell y'all. You get what I'm saying? You can call it dry snitching, but it's not. It's it's a fact. It's watch. 
Watch, watch what I watch what I say. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure if it ain't already happened yet, hey, they more it's gonna be celebrities gonna speak on this more. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna just sit back and watch the show on Rebel. And I'm gonna go on YouTube and listen to all these audio footage because I don't got nothing to do today. Are these grown men going back and forth with each other? And I'm gonna come back with another blog. Why? Because I'm a blogger. So y'all can say you ain't got no life you sitting around watching grown men, bro. I blog. You get what I'm saying? This is what I do. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think this is a stage like kind of like I wouldn't even call it a beef. I'ma just call it a uh, internet going back and forth because ain't nobody gonna get hurt off of this you know what i'm saying or do y'all think this is this is really for real like these guys they really came to the realization like they don't they not too fond of each other like i don't know like i think it's cat you get what i'm saying that's my opinion but y'all let me know what y'all think and i'm out